Hello everyone, it's James from Keeping It Anime and today we're talking chapter 112 of We Never Learn. Now this chapter actually comes with a bit of a message and that message is don't eat super super spicy food with white clothing or when you're with someone that you want to get closer to because apparently eating super super spicy food causes you to sweat like crazy and in this chapter that's exactly what happens to Urika um, and she basically starts off this chapter eating lunch with her friends okay fair enough it's another easy going slice of life chapter and she's eating super hot ramen and it turns out that she's going to visit Yuiga for a one to one study session and she's actually been doing well. So, good on you. However, because she's eating that super spicy food, she's super, super sweaty. And I don't know why this bothers her so much. Because it's not really that much different than being in a pool. And she quite happily would talk to him while she was swimming. Just saying. Anyway. It turns out that she's wearing loads of clothing, mostly a big coat, because she says she's cold. She's trying to hide it from Yuiga because she doesn't want him to dislike her for the fact that she's smelly and she's sweaty as well. Well, she doesn't know if he thinks that she's smelly, but she starts wondering if that's the case. So, Yuiga really could have benefited from Furuhashi being in this chapter, because we all know that Yuiga isn't that great when it comes to um, the female heart and understanding women, hence the way he's looking to Furuhashi for advice. And you know what? She doesn't arrive in this chapter and Yuiga tries his best. He tries his best to warm uh, Uruka up, basically because she says she's cold. That's why she's got the coat on. However, everything that he does, she ends up putting on more and more clothing. Because she starts to sweat more, because she's getting hotter, so she covers herself up more. This aggravates and confuses... I mean, aggravate. This aggravates and confuses, sorry, Yuiga, and basically causes him to uh, get flustered and hot himself, really. So they're both basically sitting in the room trying to study but they're too hot to study and Yuika turns around and basically says right take your clothes off and get in my bed this obviously being heard by um, Uruka <laughs> sends her into one of her panic attack confusion frenzies you know how she likes to go from um, perfectly calm to absolutely crazy with the click of the fingers, or flip of the switch, whatever phrase you want to go with. And this is where um, Yuiga's brother and two sisters come back into play. And <laughs> it does add a bit more comedy to the chapter because we all know that Yuiga's sister, um, is it Miz Mizuki? She has this weird brother complex. And she starts getting the wrong idea about what's going on. And so she starts taking it out on her brother. Until Uruka basically clears the air. And she's like, oh, I trust you. Fine. Bit of a weird kind of character change. But oh well, it was there for comedy. So it's not really that big of an issue, I suppose. The one thing I will say that I really did like about this chapter. And I don't know if the timing was... Are just a coincidence or if you know it was planned at all however if we go to one of the panels within the chapter um, let me just double check the page one second page 13 page 13 we actually get Yuiga basically genuinely concerned and in this pa in this page um, he's basically saying that if Tomoko is still cold after everything that he's done, then she really must be sick. 
And if you let us push yourself too far, um, then, you know, it's not a good thing. This is before, obviously, Yuiga tells her to get into her bed, or his bed in this case. And he has a flashback, and he remembers the episode, or the chapter, when Tomoko pushed herself too far and ended up collapsing. Now, this past episode, episode number 8 of We Never Learned the Anime Series, that's the episode that just aired. So whether or not that was just a really strange coincidence, or if they planned that, or if the author slash mangaka basically thought, oh, I've seen that episode, let me just add that in real quick. I don't know. There's probably two kind of um, late in the week. I imagine the chapters will have to be in by Thursday or Friday when they submit the final piece. I don't know, but it's just a nice little homage to that kind of scene, really. So, overall, this chapter was a nice slice of life chapter. It was quite funny. It was classical comedy between Yuiga and Tomoko. Misunderstanding. Yuiga trying his best to help out the best he can, but because he doesn't know the full story, he um, basically, uh, you know, ends up making the situation worse. And this chapter does have some good character bonding between the two characters, because um, Yuiga basically states at the end of this chapter that no matter what Uruka does, he will never hate her for doing something. That's why he calls her a bit si um, for being silly, calls her out, for saying that she didn't tell him at first that she was sweaty, because obviously she had that thought in her head. So overall, this chapter was really nice, and yeah, if you want something just to sit down and have a bit of a laugh with, then by all means go and read it. In the grand scheme of things, it's not going to add to the plot much, but it's still a nice chapter, nevertheless. So there you have it, guys. That's really all I've got to say for this chapter. Not a lot happened, but it was a good comedic chapter. So let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comments section. Did you like it? Have you ever gotten super, super sweaty from eating super, super hot ramen or food? I certainly haven't. But if you have, then tell me your stories down below. But until next time, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Um, subscribe if you're new so you never miss a video from me. And I hope you have an amazing day. And, well, keep it anime. Goodbye.